Welcome along everybody to another video from Taranaki and Longrange Shooting. As you may notice, I have a rifle set up on a tripod. So, big hint, this is going to be out shooting off a tripod. Now, it's not an instructional video. The, the point of this is documenting myself learning how to shoot off a tripod better. Now, I've done a bunch of online research, um, watched videos, uh, talked to some guys with a lot more experience than me, got a few tips, and now it's time to apply these in the field and see how we get on trying to make everything better. Um, the first video is obviously going to be with the rimfire. So this is my Tika T1X 22LR. It's in an MDT chassis. Um, the reason being, uh, I can shoot a lot more rounds cost effectively, and there's also a large ammunition and reloading component shortage here in New Zealand, and in fact the rest of the world at, at this time of filming. So we're going to stick with the rimfire for the first few videos and see how we go. Now. Um, as you can see from the shooting footage coming up, um, my first target is about 120 meters. It's just a 6x6 target, so nothing nothing too small, um, and I've just got that over a gully. But I do have a heap of wind to contend with while filming this, so keep that in mind. you know. And But still, I'm having a few stability issues, um, so there is things to work on after this first video, but you'll see that in the coming footage. Alright, I hope you enjoy, and hopefully maybe some guys will learn something off this, or critique me, and I can learn something. Alright. Just on the edge again. Got a shooter error here. Oh, right on top. I'm still not as stable as I'd like to be. Wind's picking up. Two mils of wind on.
Alright, that wraps up the first little uh, of these sort of tripod experience videos I'm doing. A uh, little T1 Tika, uh, we all know that shoots good, so that's not the issue. I've got a bunch of uh, fundamentals behind the tripod I need to work on. Uh, sitting didn't go too bad, but again, I threw a couple shots at the side. Gusting wind isn't helping a lot as I learn, but um, that's one of the challenges of rimfire. Now, 120 metres, uh, again, but Using the rimfire, this is cheap, you know, I can put 50 rounds down range and not break the bank, especially in our current shortage of projectiles, ammunition and other reloading components. So keep watching uh, the upcoming episodes and hopefully I can make a, um, a marked improvement and then we'll, um, we'll move over to the center fires, like I said, maybe we'll put the 308 in the ACC chassis because it's got the arc rail, or we'll stick with the 6 or we'll put a 65 in there, uh, or we'll do something else. Um, and we'll walk the center fire out hopefully. We'll start at maybe 300, four, five, and with the ultimate goal of being able to consistently hit at a thousand meters um, in reasonable wind conditions, obviously. Um, anyway, as always, thanks for watching the videos. Like them, share them, subscribe if you can. It all helps. I don't get paid for any of this, so I really appreciate you. But if someone does want to sponsor me some better video gear and tripods, then my shit won't fall over like it just did as I finished. Alright, thanks everybody. See you later.